There's a total of 28 decoctions available in The Witcher 3, which are all named after specific monsters in the game. 26 of these 28 decoctions require a special alchemy ingredient called a monster mutagen to craft. By killing the associated monster, there's a chance the required mutagen will drop, thus allowing you to craft the related decoction. The only two decoctions that do not require a specific monster mutagen to craft are the Algol decoction and the Relievers decoction. Of the remaining 26 decoctions, two of them only have a single chance in the entire game for their monster mutagens to drop by completing their associated monster contracts. In addition, if you complete these contracts by sparing the monsters instead of killing them, which most players end up doing out of sympathy, then the opportunity to get these mutagens will be gone for good. You'd have to reload a previous save or try again in New Game Plus for another chance, which is a massive pain in the arse. And no one likes pain in the arse. The first of these is the Succubus Decoction. When consumed, this decoction will gradually increase attack power over the course of a fight until reaching its maximum threshold of 30%. The Succubus in question relates to a contract named Deadly Delights which can be picked up from the notice board of Hierarch Square in Novigrad City, just outside the Kingfisher Inn. Speak with the person who posted the contract, a temple guard named Sergeant Gilbert, who you'll find standing on the canal bridge near the fish market. A night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the law, armed to the teeth. A beast must be. He informs you several officers of the guard have been desiccated by a monster and speaking with the medic who's tending to the corpses should reveal more. Our medic was to take a look first, talk to him. He's at the docks now. To the west, you'll find the doctor on the dockside wearing a protective mask. Questioning him reveals an important piece of information, the location of where the last body was found. In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district, someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Head there now and examine the ground of the crime scene using your Witcher sensors. This reveals normal foot traffic as well as hoof prints, which do not belong to an animal, due to the creature being suspiciously bipedal in nature. Hoof prints clearly. A horse? Hmm. No horse I know walks on two legs. Following the hoof prints leads you to a locked door around the back of crippled Kate's brothel. In the corner, just to the left of the locked door, you'll find an open vial of expensive perfume, leaving a scent which can be tracked using your Witcher sensors. Empty perfume vial. Expensive. Neighborhood's a bit shabby for this. However, if you've unlocked Level 3 Delusion under the Axie sign, then enter the brothel via the front door and speak with the owner. She reveals exactly what's been going on and gives you a key to enter a locked house where the suspect currently resides. It's beneficial to unlock level 3 delusion as soon as possible, as every time you successfully use delusion during conversations that present the option, you'll receive 40 experience points each and every time, independent of your level. A succubus. Where'll I find it? I've placed it in a house nearby. Here's the key. If you don't have level 3 delusion, then simply follow the scent of perfume which you previously picked up on near the locked back door. This leads you through the winding streets until you discover a well-to-do townsman leaning against the wall, who was obviously banging the devilish creature the entire night. I believe so. Forgive me. I must rest. If you don't possess the key to unlock the front door just up the wooden stairs, then head round to the left on ground level and enter the front door of the adjacent house. Once inside, climb both the interior ladders leading up to the roof eaves. When you reach the top floor, exit via the open doorway to cross a rickety wooden platform attached to the adjacent building. On the other side, climb up the exterior wooden ladder which leads into an attic space. Drop down through the hole in the floor to enter a lavish bedchamber with velvet curtains. No doubt the boudoir of the succubus you seek. Head down the stairs to gain an audience with Salma Lilith, but don't be lured by her disarming ways and select the option to kill her without hesitation. No talking necessary. To make this battle easier, be sure to coat your silver with hybrid oil and keep Quen topped up. A simple tactic of dodging her fire attack and performing two fast strikes, rinse and repeat, should make quick work of this manipulative mistress. 
Once she's defeated, loot her corpse for the succubus mutagen, which will unlock the ability to craft a succubus decoction under the alchemy screen, assuming you have already found the succubus decoction formula. Decoction formulas are also labelled as torn out pages in the game. To craft the succubus decoction, you'll also require one dwarven spirit, as well as one green mould and one allspice, both of which can be purchased from any alchemist or herbalist, such as the Pella to the northwest of Blackbow Village in Velen. Moving on, we have the second rarest decoction in the game, which is the Doppler decoction. When consumed, this decoction increases critical hit damage by 50% when attacking from behind. The Doppler in question relates to a contract named An Elusive Thief, which just like the Succubus contract, can be picked up from the notice board of Hierarch Square in Novograd City. According to the missive named Contract Imp, there's a particularly brash imp who's taken to stealing fresh food from a nearby market stall, just inside the bridge from Tretagore Gate. The creature hasn't harmed any humans, but has caused a great deal of concern for the market's owners, including Sylvester Amello who's decreed a hefty reward to anyone capturing the nuisance he describes as a mean fat cat. Like a mean fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. A sweep of the market's place using your Witcher senses is called for. To the left of the circular sentry turret, follow the large paw prints which lead you over the wall and past the horse drinking fountain. Head under the archway to the southeast and just past the standing guard, stoop down to find some loot the imp dropped. Look up and around the large stone wall here, and observe scampering prints across the ivy heading towards the portcullis. The marks continue atop the left wall of the stone bridge, then disappear halfway across as the creature dropped down into the moat below. Head down the wooden steps at the end to avoid sustaining fall damage, where you'll once again pick up the trail. Strangely, the large paw prints change to normal boot prints, which lead to an open door of a nearby house at most level. Inside the entrance, you'll find a handwritten note on a makeshift table. A letter? Well, well, our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. Providing incriminating evidence from someone called Louis, admonishing Yane about taking the form of a giant black cat for his pilfering activities. This confirms your suspicions. You're dealing with a Doppler. A Doppler explains a lot and complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. Head up the stairs and into the bedroom. Using your Witcher sensors, examine the clothing scattered on the floor just by the bed. A woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes, but only one bed. Lavender, strong scent, enough to track him down. Follow the newly detected scent of lavender which leads back down the stairs and out of the building. The winding trail continues through the settlement in an easterly direction, until you notice a Redanian temple guard suspiciously conversing with a friendly elf just by the colour dying pools. After attempting to cover up their cordial conversation, the elf quickly departs. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. Use a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. Now the guard tries to continue the act until Geralt calls it out for being a Doppler. Nice scent. And here I thought temple guards were unkempt boars. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. A moment later, it shapeshifts into the form of a common peasant, and flees past the dying pools back toward the moat. Give chase to the scampering shapeshifter, giving you an opportunity to grab it when you're close. Instead of surrendering, the Doppler transforms into a familiar face. Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Even though the Doppler can imitate the signs and combat techniques of a Witcher, it shouldn't take too long to overcome, utilising standard tactics against regular humans. Eventually, it succumbs to your superior combat prowess. Please, stop! I surrender. Might be able to look like a Witcher, but I won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. 
You're now given an option to continue the fight and kill the Doppler. Make sure to do this and not spare it. Once it's defeated, loot its corpse for the Doppler mutagen, which will unlock the ability to craft the Doppler decoction under the alchemy screen. Assuming you've already found the Doppler decoction formula, also known as torn out pages in the game. To craft the Doppler decoction, you'll also require one dwarven spirit, as well as one hand fiber and one long rube, both of which can be purchased from any alchemist or herbalist. Once again, the Pella located to the northwest of Blackbow Village in Velen will stock everything you need.